Hey friends, so as you can see, we chose the Tiger Wall UL3 to be our home, our shelter, and our tent for our attempted through hike in March of the Appalachian Trail. We originally started out with the Big Agnes Copper Spur UL3, and I have to tell you, I love that tent. It is sturdy, it has taken us to many cool places and has held up really well for us but ultimately it's just pretty heavy. All in, that tent comes to about a little over four pounds and substantially heavier when wet. Next, we tried the Xmed Pro 2 Complete Dyneema Tent. We thought that would be the better option for us because it doesn't hold water when it's wet and all in, that tent is about 22 ounces. Pretty amazing, right? And as amazing as that tent really is, unfortunately, it just wasn't quite big enough for the two of us. Maybe if it was just for a couple of days, even, you know, a longer section hike, but for six months, it just was too small for us to be comfortable in. Additionally, being that it was a trekking pole tent, I found it necessary to really have to be extra careful on picking the perfect tent site every single time. And honestly, I just didn't want to have to deal with that and the larger footprint every time we got into camp. So ultimately, because we love Big Agnes, we decided to try out the Tiger Wall UL3. This tent comes at just under three pounds. We love this tent. It is very similar to the Copper Spur in the sense that it is sturdy, it is roomy, and this is considered to be a semi freestanding tent because you do have to stake out the one side, but no big deal. That's been very easy to manage and we're really, really happy with our tent selection. We feel that this is going to be the perfect home for our trek across the Appalachian Trail. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this small glimpse into the preparation process for our big adventure. If you could, please do us a favor and like and subscribe to our channel. It would really help us out. Thanks so much and happy trails.